everybody! Welcome back. We've got another integration by parts problem. Um, I've actually, to save time because these problems are really long, written the integration by parts formula on the board as well as these two formulas which we're going to need. Um, the problem that we're going to do this time looks like this. It is the integral of x cosine of 3x dx. Um, Okay, so this is our problem. The first thing that we need to do is assign u and dv values. So, um, as I explained in, in the other integration by parts videos, um, this, this uh, function is represented in this formula up here by this side of the equation. Um, not paying attention to this step over here, just the u and dv side. So, um, in, our, in our problem, one term is x and the other term is cosine of 3x. So we need to, to decide which one of these is going to be u and which one's going to be dv. So the easiest way to do that is um, I always start with u. So deciding which one of these is going to be u um, is sometimes a crapshoot and sometimes, um, sometimes easier. In this case it's pretty obvious because um, what our ultimate goal is to um, is to assign u to something such that when we take the derivative of whatever that is, um, the derivative is simpler than u was originally. So what I mean by that is I'm going to end up assigning u to x. I'm going to go ahead and write that here, u equals x. When I take the derivative of this, which we call du, I get 1, right? The derivative of x is 1. And 1 is a lot simpler than x. So you kind of need to think ahead. And when you're picking values, when you're picking which one of these is going to be u and which one is going to be dv, try to look for um, something. Think about what its derivative is going to be. And if it's a lot simpler than the original, then you know that's going to be your u. So in this case, I know that x is going to be u. Um, so I did that. Since I've assigned u to x, that automatically means that cosine of 3x is dv. We've got no other choice. So I'm going to go ahead and write dv here, cosine of 3x. So notice here, um, we started with u and we worked this way to get the derivative of u, du. Here we have to start with dv and we're going this way, taking the integral or the antiderivative of cosine of 3x to get v, okay? So u, du, v, and dv. Um, we start with these two and we end up solving for these two. So here we're going we're gonna, to take the integral of cosine of 3x, we're going to use this formula up here, which tells us that the integral of um, cosine of x is sine of x. So um, we can imply it here and say, um, the integral of, or, or antiderivative of cosine of 3x is going to be sine of 3x. But, of course, here the formula only talks about, you know, if you have cosine of x. Here we've got cosine of 3x, and that's not the same thing. So we have to account for the fact that this is more complicated than just x. It's 3x. The way that we do that, since we're taking, um, the, the way that we do that is to use chain rule. And all that means is that we, um, we, we take the integral of the whole thing, which we can just write sine of 3x, right? Because that's what the formula tells us. But then that's kind of, I, I call that the outside. That's the whole thing, right? We're, we're looking at the whole thing. But then 3x here is the inside. And we have to look at the outside first and then the inside. So we have to divide, when we're taking the integral, we divide by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 3x is 3. So we divide by 3, which means this guy is going to have a 1 third out in front. So the, the antiderivative or the integral of cosine of 3x is sine of 3x, but then we got to divide by 3 to account for the fact that we've got this 3 here and not just an x like the formula tells us. Okay, so 1 third sine of 3x 
is the integral. We've solved for v. Now we have u du, v, and dv, and we can plug those in to this part of the formula. So let's go term by term. The first, the first is u, which we have here as x. So u is x. Then v, we have here, it's one-third sine of 3x. And then we have a minus the integral of v, which is one-third sine of 3x du, which is just 1. So we could write uh, multiplied by 1 here, but we don't need to because it would just disappear, right? And then we write dx because dx is part of the notation um, for an integral. If you have a little squiggly integral sign, you've got to have a dx, so I write that there. So now, um, all we need to do is simplify. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pull one-third out of the integral and put it in front here because everything in here is multiplied together. There's only one term because everything's multiplied together. And this is, a, this is the coefficient on that term. And whenever we have that situation, there's one term and we got a coefficient, and it's a number like this, one-third, we can pull it out front. So this is actually going to be one-third out here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase the one-third here. So now we've got minus one-third times the integral of sine of 3x, which we can take. So let's go ahead and, um, and simplify this here. One-third um, is going to come out in front on this term, so we're going to have one-third, and then we have x sine of 3x, so the 1 third just came right out here, and then we've got x sine 3x, and then we have minus 1 third from here, and then draw a big parenthesis um, because we, we've got the coefficient here. Now the big parenthesis denotes we're taking the integral, everything's going inside. So um, the integral of sine of 3x, here's where this formula comes into play. Um, and this is just another one that, that you need to plug into your calculator or memorize or, um, or put on your cheat sheet or whatever. Uh, the, the integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x. Okay, so we've got um, negative cosine, but we don't, we, don't, we don't just have x, we've got 3x. So we've got negative cosine of 3x. Um, but then, of course, we have to, just like we did up here when we took the integral... Um, and we had to account for the 3x that was on the inside because our formula just says x, but we've got 3x. We can't just ignore that fact. So um, we dealt with the outside. Now we've got to deal with the inside. Um, and because it's an integral, we divide by the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside, which is 3x, is just 3. Um, so we divide by the derivative, um, which is 3. Okay. And then, because we took the integral, we have to add c. You always have to add c whenever you take an integral to account for the constant, so there you go, that's c. So now let's go ahead and um, erase this area up here so we can write our final answer nice and big and clear. Um, so we're going to bring this up. It's just the uh, one-third x sine of 3x minus... And then we've got one-third, and we've also got a three on the bottom here. So this, um, this coefficient is actually going to become one-ninth, because we have the three times three on the bottom. So we'll say one-ninth. Um, okay, so we counted for the three to the one-third. We've got this negative sign here. And since we have minus a negative, this is just going to become a positive, right? Negative times a negative is a positive. So we're going to have plus one-ninth, and then we just have cosine of 3x, and then always um, our c to account for that constant, and um, that's our final answer.